Hi, I'm Nathan, uh, lead front end from Vass IT. Welcome to a short screencast about a product we've developed we've been developing for Sitecore. Um, I'm going to demo our new social e-commerce connector, a plugin that we've built for Sitecore, which is based on the existing e-commerce extension. As a basic overview, the social e-commerce connector identifies social media as an effective method of marketing stimuli in order to help the user identify something they are likely to need and or want. Using available APIs from social networks like Facebook or Twitter, we can form a knowledge base of social metadata on the products that are available on the site. Taking advantage of those strengths is very important. So here's our main page. Um, it's a bespoke implementation of the Sitecore CMS with the e-commerce extension and we've basically skinned it to look like a technology store. Um, we've gone for a nice clean layout, uh, we've got a nice little banner here which rotates through different products and we have some featured items in the boxes here. Um, at the bottom we have a nice little widget which will show us um, popular items on Twitter but we'll come to that in a second. So what we're going to focus on initially is the first three widgets here. Um, these are being populated dynamically by Twitter, implicitly, as opposed to below here where we know they're being populated or the user knows that they're being populated by Twitter. So we know that Twitter can provide useful general information regarding trends and unsolicited natural feedback from user experiences. Um, if you take a look now, we've got three products here. So we've got a Samsung TV, a Nikon camera, and a compact laptop. If we go through here to the Nikon camera, um, we can see that it links to a Nikon D5100 SLR. Uh, this is just this is just a product page that we've built. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the admin area and we can see here on the product repositories we have um, the D3. Now we know that D3 is a product that's already popular. Um, at the moment it's sitting in an unindexed part of the site, uh, this folder here, product repositories. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it into its correct section. So if I'm going to drag it here to cameras. So as I've moved this product in the, into the correct section, um, we're able to run a task in the background uh, using Vasati Social E-Commerce Connector, which has the following simple algorithm. So what we've done is for each product, we've set up a field called hashtag. And within this hashtag is, um, is a list, or in this case, just one particular, one particular term which we're going to use to represent the product. Now using the Twitter API, we can make queries using that hashtag. We can then store the number of results that are generated and we can do this for all items um, across our particular section or indeed across all items in every section. After that, we can then sort the results by popularity and then Sitecore is able to update the site and bring us the most popular items. So you can see here on our page, we had the Nikon D5100. If I refresh the page, we can see that it's been updated to the Nikon D3 with a low resolution image. <laughs> um, the other products haven't been updated because they are showing different items from different particular sections. So we've only updated uh, the cameras and we know in advance that this one is the most popular, which is why which is why it's showing. At the moment, we're using only the popularity of a product. In the future, we'll be able to expand the algorithm to look for keywords or buzzwords within the results. So we'll be able to build up a metadata profile of not only the responses, but the emotion associated with them, differentiating good tweets from bad ones and allowing us to refine the results even more. For the banner here, we've been able to add social functionality at an even deeper level. So with Facebook integration, information can be personalized to the current user. Using the Facebook API and provided the user is logged on and has authorized the application, it's possible to tell which pages and companies the users have liked. Products can then be promoted based on this information. In our case, 
we are interested in what brands and products the user likes. So if we take a quick look at the banner, as default, it shows the items that have been manually selected by the administrator in the CMS for promotion. So these are the ones you'd expect the as admin to go into and select um, just a simple manual list. Now I have three windows open here, three, uh, three extra tabs, and these are three product pages for three different brands. So here we've got Beats by Dre, and we can see that I've liked this. Um, we have the LG Mobile page, and we can see that I've liked that. And we have the Sans Samsung Mobile page, which I haven't liked yet. So if we go back to our, um, our store, I'm going to log in with Facebook. And we can see instantly that on the banner we're presented with uh, a smart TV from LG. And if we go to the right, we can see a Beats by Dre set of headphones. And if you remember, those are the two companies um, which I'd liked already personally. So I'm going to go now to Samsung Mobile and I'm going to like their page. So I'm going to log in again with Facebook. And we can see here that now we're presented with the Samsung product, um, a Samsung camera, and then our Beats headphones, and then another Samsung phone. Now the reason we're not being shown the LG um, TV is because at the moment the Samsung product is more popular than the LG product. So we're actually incorporating the Twitter functionality with the Facebook functionality. Um, our banner only shows one product from each category at a time. So instead of what we or the admin think that it's best for the user to see, um, the social e-commerce connector provides results which are dynamically generated based on the products that we already have available. Um, so that's it for now. Um, together with Cycle Technology, we believe we can deliver the best shopping experience and we think that this plugin that we're still developing at the moment allows businesses to better understand what the customer wants, providing a base for which sales generations and conversions can be improved and increased. Uh, you'll be able to read more at the VASIT site, that's www.vasit.co.uk. Thanks.